Hello everybody, hope you had a good day. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Minecraft. I'd f I've finished doing that lakeside village and I've actually revamped my storage. So this is what this video is. It's me showing off that. So if you're doing up enjoying, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It'd be very much appreciated. Let's just, let's just jump straight in and just show it off. Did I? You won't remember much what it was like because I didn't really show it off fully in the last Minecraft video. But I decided I didn't really like the center bit. Because it kind of felt like there was a lot of space around the side. And then we're going up with the bubble columns. Of course, when, because when we had it, it was like at these points. It was like bubble column, bubble column, bubble column, bubble like all around. So whichever one I went up, I went up right at the corner. And it kind of irritated me. Because then it's like, okay, I have to literally do a full circle to see where everything is. So it's kind of just like, okay, great. You're really annoying. But first floor, we've got all the woods. I forgot about barrels. Uh, how the fuck did I forget about that? That's where that's where the bamboo is going to go. But apparently I forgot to put barrels there. So that's fine. I say I use barrels instead of chests. Because it's a lot less lag reducing than chests. I mean like a hundred billion percent. I've built storage rooms in the past, which are half the size of like half the amount of like actual like storage boxes. But in, you know, instead of a barrel, it's a, a double chest. And it's literally half the size of this. And it's caused just tremendous lag whenever you look at it. So it's like I'm not doing those anymore. But yeah, we got wood. I've also got an extra, well, an extra three for when we get more wood, maybe. Then we've got like sort of like stone. It starts off with like um, what would be classed as ground crap stuff, uh, knit and ground crap. Yeah, so we got like the dirts, and then we got little stones, different kind of stones going around. Then I just got a couple of like random things that were didn't really have a place. Bit extra, we've got some wood here. Easy access. I also opened that up a bit so it that can open up. Just open up. Nice spiral staircase, love. I th I thought about maybe having something going alongside the spiral. Definitely think maybe some water or something would come would be great. I also forgot to do that. That's fine. That's undone. Then we've got like this is like the nether floor and the end. So we got all different kind of like nether stuff. And I got this this is the reason why I wanted to have it on the outside as well. Is I can actually see where everything is. This is this is wool on that side, glass on that side. As you can tell by the fact that I don't have all the blocks in places, I don't have all the blocks. So I'm not fussed right now, I'm just doing it as I go. So we've got glass and that. Then this one is get yeah, concrete that way. Then we got terracotta that way. Yeah, I sort of decide to it, the way we have done it is like at these points, the points where you sort of enter on, or you know something like that, is sort of the starting points for them. So the first something will be like there since it's there. First one's there. I know it doesn't really make sense when it should be like there. But it's like you come up here. You can sort of see. Then I think this is a free section. Yeah, that's a free section. Nothing on there. This is the mob section. I don't have a lot of... I need to come up with some more blocks to... Symbolize... Each mob. I think this way, yeah, they've got spider eyes. I need like a reddish block for spider eyes. And then... Need a bone meal block. I, I would honestly, it took me quite a while to dig this out to get to replace it. And I was like, I don't really care. I'll just do it as a layer on. Then we got the sort of rubs, you know, plants, all this. Start going around. And this was my, this was my top floor where I have like sort of one off things, if you will. Well, not really one off. I've got redstone in that section. So I'll be there. 
This is me ores, well, not ores and blocks. I don't have a netherite block, that's why that's there. Then we got me diamond armor. I think this is like, yeah, these like tools and stuff. Cause I don't want to use item frames. Cause I, it's the same thing with like item frames and signs. Cause the class is an entity that cause a bit of lag. So if I have too many item frames, it cause a bit too much lag for me. Try to stay away from it. Yeah, I and mean, yeah. This is sort of as like the, the banners, lighting, candles, like like furniture, quotation mark or crafting stations. Yeah. Then, yeah, you can see out there. That's that. A nice little drop down onto powdered snow. I did run out of food. That's why I'm eating carrots. Yeah, I also moved the the ender chest, the crafting table, and the shulkers from there. Just in here. Tucks away nicely. That's there because this is just a chest I sort of... Basically, it's always on me, realistically. But I just left it there because I was... I needed them so I can put all the things together. And I was about to say, uh, each, I think each tower is probably going to... Maybe not like ones like this. I think most towers won't really get a revamp. Like, most of them won't. Like I think the only one that might get revamp is you. I might add a bit extra because it is a bland ass tower with a thing in the center. All the other ones kind of have like a bit of something in it. But then of course all the walls will be changed to add a bit more detail into it. But that isn't. Hasn't been done yet. Yeah, I've sort of figured out what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do all the sections as well. Like, it's going to be divided into sections. Like, all the things, like, minus that back corner, which will be, like, the village trading section. I would say from here-ish, probably all the way to the other end, will be one section. For instance, like that'll be a section as well. And we finished that section up there. This section, this little bit here, is actually going to be included into that section... Which goes all the way down to there. All the way down to the other side. I'll show you in a sec. Come, come, come through. Okay. That way leads up to the church. And that leads up to the mine. Then it goes down there. And obviously leads around there. So, you know, we'll, we'll save that to last. And I realize I'm now turning the light on. That's, that's great. I used some more lily pads, put a bit of lily pads on. Just around the outside a little bit. Nice little waterfall over the hang. So you just go off. Yeah, so it's there all the way around to that little pad. That's going to be one section. So I'm going to build a giant nether portal sort of on that wall with a path leading around. Maybe a couple extra buildings something something and then on that section where the old nether portal is i'm gonna also maybe around here as well gonna be like a little market thanks to my friend saying should build a market so that's that so yeah got a little few lily pads it was all it was all the lily pads i had left after doing on the water oh yeah i forgot i did that literally first thing yeah i also added Bit of cobblestone into a bit of the textures, of course. Added some more slabs under the water. And that was the lily pads. But yeah. Gave it a bit more extra instead of it just being pure stone. There is, I think there is some andesite slabs. Yeah, there is andesite slabs. I just didn't do any andesite blocks. Just did some slabs. Just to add a bit of extra little bits. But the whole thing has been slabbed off. So even if it's a little dark patch, nothing should spawn besides friendly mobs inside this whole section hopefully let's go up here and we'll show this off yeah as you can see I'd, uh, yeah, I did the mud bit of extra texture in alright yeah. uh, so I did just in a couple places there's that especially over the lights but it kind of just hides with all the shrubs. It just bone me on literally everything. I did actually have a few more 
of those because I actually wanted another tree sort of here. But the problem with is that if I, I, I kept on getting the double whammy, I wanted the single one reaching over. But I, I, I only got that like three, four times back to back and I just couldn't be bothered. It always went back in and was literally hugging that wall and it did not look good. Yeah. Because these are all placed because you they don't spawn when the tree spawns. So I had to get a bunch of those. But good news is you can actually bone meal those on a four. Which I didn't know, which I, I just like, please tell me you can. And you can. It's like, yeah, I killed. Yeah, like I wanted another tree there. But I just kept on getting the double whammies. And they just kept on... Because it literally touched the side of that. So you could literally just walk onto it. Which didn't look good from that side. Which really bummed me out a little bit. But I think in fairness, not having too many trees kind of works a little a little bit. Just a little bit. Anything there. Yeah, first you will actually see I actually that section, that and this section did get made from last time. They didn't exist. That was literally the natural terrain going down, so this was all added on. Nice little river. You'll see the river like branched off from the waterfall and sort of so to make it so at least River sort of comes in together. So I, w I wanted to like a little bit of over this. Just sort of felt like it added a bit. And it doesn't look terrible. Because I couldn't do it too deep. Shit. Because it, 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 it doesn't look great. Like when you look at it. It doesn't look great. I can I know it doesn't. But, like that, it actually looks fine. But if you turn around and start looking at it and being like, Oh, shit. Mmm, mmm. Ooh, ooh, look shit. But if you, if you just add it into it, it's kind of fine. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's just a bit too, it's a bit too small with it. Like, it needed to be a bit wider to make it look a bit better, but it's just scaled down a bit too much. If nothing spawns, I don't need to sleep. Yeah, of course, yeah, everything has that. And I think I did, yeah, I did actually add a little bit of... Uh, what are they called? Sea pickles. Just about a bit of uh, texture to it. It looks quite nice. You can't actually get onto that level. There you go. You can't actually walk onto it. This is just the thing you can't reach. So it's just, it's just off. It just felt added a bit more to it. Because I wanted, I did, thank God for the trade runs because it adds more to it. Like the extra bright color pops plus with the cherry blossom leaves you can place on, wait, the leaves? Petals, sorry. It just sort of adds extra to it instead of it just being all grass. There's extra color to it. Plus with the little particles, I love it. Love those trees. Here, yeah. yeah, I got some. Because this was a straight corner as well. I did a bit extra, so it isn't a straight corner. Because all the trees are the same. Nothing, nothing's really changed on the sections when I showed it off as I was going, other than all the bone meals. I think I actually built a couple extra trees. Actually, no, I built them. A did I build a couple extra trees? No, I don't think I did. Got all the bone meals. This is a little outhouse. It actually has a little secret tunnel down there. I actually quite like building that. Nice little house. That, that was what was originally going there anyway. Oh, and of course, I did actually scrap that. What was supposed to go there. Oh yeah, I didn't actually have any sea pickles in this area. In this river, but yeah, the lily pads on the cobblestone really changed it. Yeah, I was already gonna add the lily pads, but then when I was literally staring at it, like all the water and everything, I was like, Cam just looks a bit shit just doing stone. It doesn't look good. I needed to do slabs and 
cobblestone in it just to have a bit extra. And by Jove, did it work? Massive improvement. Yeah, I, said, I, I scrapped. I said there was supposed to be like a, a ladder or a stair. I could not, in the space, figure out a good stair to do it. So I didn't really want to just do a ladder going up. I didn't. It wouldn't have looked that great. And I could not seem to get a good stair design in this without without doing maybe just, just actual stairs. So I, I prefer doing slabs as stairs rather than that. And I just couldn't seem to get a good design. Couldn't. Yeah, like, you can see when... Cause I, had, I had another tree here as well. Just so I think it was somewhere here. Just so I have to cover up this little bit. But once again, kept guessing that one, the double whammy. And it just consumed that. Really irritating. Yep. Got a nice... Got some of these in just to add a bit of... Obviously, they haven't fully grown yet because they don't spend a lot of time in this area. So they're not grown fully. Honestly, when this popped out there, I was immediately just like... God damn it, how did you do that? How why did you, I've got to destroy it now? But I quite liked it. I think because it came up over and then with the particles, it kind of didn't seem terrible. You know what I mean? Nothing there. I think yeah. I did try to have another tree there as well once again, but once once again, it was always these and it just straight away hugged into the mountain. So it was literally about like probably at this level at the top. It just did not look good. So all the buildings are the same. Yeah. Then was this for this level? I said it hasn't it hasn't like been a drastic change in this section. The sections I've already had already pre-built, other than like the bit of the, the mud and the little dirt blocks sort of adding a bit to it plus on at the top here chopping away a bit to make it a bit less completely at an angle really hasn't much changed like i said i i'd basically done most of it at that point like i said this whole section well i'll show you after was basically like that but a lot more flatter no, not a lot more flatter. A lot more different, like... Well, it was a lot more wider, actually. Yeah, th th this was entirely... Nothing was here. Yep. I also, as you can see... Tough, with a bit of andesite and a bit of stone. I did originally have... I think it was cobblestone. Then something... I think it was cobblestone... I had, a, I had a fourth option. I'd had four colours. But then I felt like it, it, it was a bit much for a lot of sections. Because if it was the whole thing, because I think any, pe any part with a stone, it's going to try to be just andesite and that. Or if it's big enough, it's going to be that and that. Then I felt like adding an extra one would just overpower it a bit. So I just said with a three. And it actually doesn't look terrible. Quite like it. Yeah. But I, when when I was, in fairness, you will actually you won't remember, but I think the f this section we're on this flat bit, I think it came to somewhere about here. Then obviously I did build that and I flattened that and flattened that, and then I was like, ooh, so I flattened it to somewhere about here, some somewhere like this. So yeah, because I wanted to add a staircase, so we, we added that. No, I didn't actually flatten to about there. I flattened it to about somewhere about there to there. And I was like, ooh, that's a nice corner pocket. Could have some, some sort of bigger structure. Then I thought, you know what, let's put a chapel. So, built a chapel. 
with a little graveyard. Let me just show this off. And a couple of, obviously wanted a bit of trees going on. Gives it a bit more homely vibes. Nothing uh, down there, just a little side path. Ooh. Nice little coming into the carpet. Nice little two parts, you can hold your weddings. Nothing's on it, obviously. Uh, I thought someone was like, why did you do this lime? Simple reason. Because the frog. This is the church of... This is... I don't have a name. It's just a church of frogs, realistically. I would, I was trying to think of something to do for that stained glass. And um, honestly, the size was too small for actually anything. Like, anything I wanted was... It was too small. Especially with that. Doing the two the windows there and there... It made it impossible to get the perfect, like, stained glass design for it. Because I didn't, I didn't want to come down too low as well. I wanted to have it high enough so you can't jump out and see out the window. So I was limited, so I was like, okay. And then, nice little pixel art frog. And then that's when I was like, oh, can I, do, I can just do a green or a line for the frog. Yeah, nice little church, chapel, sorry. Whatever image like it. Wanted to, uh, these are a lot small. I wanted smaller gravestones than the one in my um, castle courtyard. So I didn't, I didn't want to do two big ones, like big ones, because this is just a small sort of church, realistically. Like when you're in the castle, like it's, you know, it's for like royalty and stuff like that. So a bit of bigger ones. That was the whole premise of that. It was like, it's more family members, more important people in that sort of courtyard. Well, this is like the village one, like a small one. Just enough. God, I'm, at, I'm so happy. I'm sorry, I love the cherry blossoms. They're just, it's so much more of a different thing because it's just the leaves. It's just that much of a different color of leaves that it adds to it. Plus with the particles and that, it just adds so much. I love it. It's gonna come out here. Nice little thing. Yeah, I think I needed to add something else in over there, but you see in a sec what I mean. Very lovely. I said, yeah, shit, shit. We're gonna check in there. He said, the river just sort of comes around here. Since this was in a corner pocket, I thought, you know what? Let's make a little bit of a lake here. Ignore that. That's not actually, that is, that is actually waterlogged. But it's the really weird thing of, it's a visual glitch. I'm not kidding, I, I, it is waterlogged. I've gone with a bucket and waterlogged it many times. I don't understand why it does that. Yeah, like when you look at it here, how much stone's there, you do think, ooh, you could have, could have done that like i do think i could have but, but if you actually don't notice it that well much because of the, all the trees it kind of covers it a bit so it kind of makes it nice like here this was the section i was saying this is why it's a little bit open here i thought i could I needed to build something here but i could not think of anything that would work there because without doing like another house i didn't really want to yeah, we got a nice little another house here. Kept it nice and sort of simple. Didn't need it too bad. I see we got this. This is just like another sort of like uh like the one over there, little one. Just sort of a nice little, little checkpoint here, so you can nice little crafting table you can. Plus an energy chest about, so scattered about. Plus there's some bar like barrels and stuff. Did I somehow forget that? I somehow forgot those. Huh. And that. Huh. Don't know how I forgot that. Yeah, that sort of caved into it a little bit, but... Kind of doesn't look bad. Yeah, I need to remember that. Come here. 
Yeah, see, so you just sort of decided, you know what? Make it a bit more of a sort of curves out. I felt like it added a bit, and it also, it also took up a nice chunk of there and added a bit. Uh, that, that worked out tremendously. So you can come here. Yeah, so see, since this is like very small, I only really needed to add andesite to that. There's no corner path. Because all the wheat's been placed in now, and all of it's grown. You look shit. Not all of it's grown. Most of it's grown. <laughs> but yeah. I think I'll probably, obviously, here we we'll might have to put a bit of tough, but I probably won't. Simply because it kind of would ruin it a bit with just the crossing section, you know, where it connects over to each other. Just sort of don't really fit to me. Come as that. But yeah, the whole village done. As I had said, like, um, I'm doing it in sections, so each part will be a section. You know, I'm doing this this time, this is this project. So when we come up here, obviously you can tell that this has not been touched. Because this is the mine section. On this level, and including... Because I did, I did sort of do the top of this, because it can include it in. But here as well, this is all the mine section, including that. So that's that's its own project. So that's its own separate thing. Let me just wee. No, uh, would be actually that'd be a good that'd be a good point. High enough. Wee. Yeah. As I said, like all of it was roughly like that bit actually like you see the variations with it like like when i went up i went across and then it reached like that wall then it went up again like that then the stone that was mainly carved down apart from i think behind the waterfall section because that basically nice one like, like pivoted up but yeah, and then, so that's that section. And I said from there, going all the way around to roughly over there, that's going to be its own section. So that'll be one project. Cost of mine. And then, it's straight up that top back bit of stone. So from all the way around, let's just fly around. All of this, we just keep going. To somewhere, somewhere roughly, probably here will be one section. Then I said I might have to chop this giant dirt, this this long bit into two sections. Yeah, like I might do like this as one section. Then I could do like another sort of circle section like that. Then of course that's its own section. But that's how I'm going to do everything, is just divide it up, build it like that. And I think... How did I get this? When did I get the sapling? Huh. I don't remember I got that sapling wrong. There we go. But that's the... That's the whole sort of lake... I'm calling it lakes... I'm calling it the lakeside village. Realistically, it's just uh, better. It just makes a nice little name for it. But yeah, that's that. That's project. That's a project done. And I said, yeah, and everything else is gonna be its own project. And I said, I don't play Minecraft every every day. I just play. It. I get cravings, and I just play it. And I'll do a project whenever I get the craving. So you'll probably get a video of Minecraft every couple of months, most likely. Or maybe three, four months. I don't really know how it's going to go. But yeah. That's that. So thank you all for watching. And sticking through for me showing off. Me Lakeside Village. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you. 
If you do end up enjoying, don't forget to leave, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It would be very much appreciated. But yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye.